like a spider. It was like a shaved spider monkey corpse uh, that they yeah. had taken a picture of. And, um, yeah. and so, and, and, you know, Ursula Mangled Ruiz it. came out and I hope it's not that. this. So this is that bastard, another guy that buys a monkey just to kill it, the fake an alien thing. Yeah. Again, we yeah. have to be talking about that before. Um, yeah. Uh, whether, but we don't know if he killed it. Uh, it it might have been something that I don't know. It, it, it was maybe it got dead. caught in one of those cra- those traps we mentioned before. Maybe it was already dead. Uh, we, we so can't really just say that they killed it just for this. Yeah. But maybe they just took advantage of a situation, perhaps. But it it was at least admitted by Urso Ruiz, the person who was uh, alleged to have found this creature, that it, uh, it, it, this was a hoax, and Jamie Mousen was in on it. Uh, so if it, it goes to reasons. As I would that that's this one in 2010, and then another yeah. one in 2017. And it's another one. It's another hoax. Yeah. Yeah, like you know, the, and they make no mention of this. Like if they had mentioned this, I, I feel like they should have mentioned that in the video to be like kind of like, hey, like you know, yeah, I found this one before, but it was a hoax. But you know, I'm still looking. I would I would respect that personally. Like I would respect that more to be like I made a mistake last time, and okay. But this one you, is legit. Like, okay. <laughs> the thing is, I'm like, if, if the second you hoax, even if you were part of some sort of expedition that found something, you you can't put your name on it. You can't. Like, he shouldn't have. If this is unless, legit, you want to be a taken, master tracker. Yeah, left. If you're a master tracker. You get a fucking do over. Or a master, <laughs> master <laughs> bone wrangler. Yeah. Master bone wrangler. Uh, master uh, used car salesman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, who is the guy? Who is the guy who was like, "Get me my diet Snapple"? That guy, you know, he was in on the first one, and then he's still doing it. Yeah, I think he's still part of the Bigfoot community to some extent. Um, it's um, I it it is disheartening because it's like the sto- the stories of this one line up so good. You know, these Nazca mummies. You have the we, the Nazca lines, right? These these objects that can only be seen from space. Like a lot of it, a lot of it adds up. And I and then I start to think, I'm like, okay, well, if this is a hoax, then they went through a fucking lot of effort to make sure the backstory would work nicely. Well, it's like, but experts. even the backstory of these things is like, we found them. Like some guy yeah. brought them to me and uh, that's all they really had to do. He's like, they, they, because these, these Huaqueros, the, the bone wranglers, a lot of the stuff that they do, like a majority of their work is, cons- is illegal in their country. Like it is, oh, it's yeah, grave so robbing. So they oh, can't, so they should go, they can't be like, look what I found. Yeah. You <laughs> can't go into depth. It's hard to go into depth with a lot of the, the origins of these things, because it's like this stuff was brought to me by this guy who wants to remain anonymous like the job he does the the uh, it's, it's essentially tomb robbing uh is is what they do and is a lot of it is illegal and and is i think peru a lot of the the south american countries are kind of like uh you know bearing down on a lot of this like uh you know they're finding uh th- that it is a lucrative it seems to be a lucrative illegal market for these things and yeah so um they're kind of bringing the hammer down on a lot of these these waqueros maybe yeah. someday there will be no yeah, more they're on the, <laughs> uh, the waqueros are on the way out uh hopefully well, yeah. once you, you can only wrangle so many bones boys you get run out of bones <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, so the, these, these mummies have a mysterious origin that you can't really get into. Um, they're brought forth and they'll be like, they just found these things. You can't say exactly where you can just say the kind of area that they're in. And they're like, Oh, we found them around the Nazca lines and the Nazca lines, which are an, an amazing piece of human culture and historical markers. Like these things are amazing. Like we said, just a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, they have found more, uh, you know, the, the stories are going to keep coming out and I'm sure they're going to do a lot more work, but we found a bunch more of the Nazca lines near those, near the other lines just now. Um, so it, it, yeah, I would, I would say that like things like this, uh, you know, hoaxes are, are, are deplorable in some sense. Like they, like these things shouldn't happen, but they also kind of shine a spotlight on the stuff that is really happening there um a lot of the stuff that has a little bit more integrity <laughs> than uh than some bones found by a bone wrangler uh and then put together uh because I, most of the most of the because again like this was in the news um and it was a lot on a lot of uh, what you would consider uh you know uh mainstream or white you know kind of uh, considered more places 
I th- I'm pretty sure like they were in AP, like you know, Associate Press. I mean, they were on CNN to some extent, whatever. But like you know, that they were to print this story on these outlets is kind of like, wow, that's that's neat. Maybe it was a slow a slow news day. I don't know, but. Uh, putting these out there uh, and a lot of experts kind of chimed in to be like, you know, I, I'm sure somebody who has spent, you know, the last four to four to five years of life trying to write out their PhD on uh, osteology or like, you know, whatever they're doing, like an yeah. x-ray technician is being like getting their PhD. And we could have kind of look at these and just like send it an email and be like, yeah, this is no, that's not how bones work. <laughs> well, the other thing to me that's kind of like, upsetting is because i'm like you look at guy and what they're trying to do and then what they associate themselves really much that it, it, it almost gets to the point where if you're calling gaia first you're basically been like yeah we're gonna try to hoax him hope hoax these fools yet again well, they, guy was probably about fifth on the list yeah <laughs> Samira, right? let's be Samira honest august monogage was first probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh right. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. So it's like, yeah, like a guy, a guy promotes a lot of you know alternative history, uh, lifestyle viewpoints. Uh, but there, like, that, there is weird stories. That's what I'm saying. There, there is weird stuff out there that they could, but they give such a, they give such um, they sensationalize. Like yeah, a lot of and then to a point, it's like you didn't have to spread this over twelve. If you had to spread this over twelve episodes of like a show, and they're not even like thirty minutes long. Like each one's only like ten to ten to twelve minutes clips, really. Yeah, well, uh, it's of the whole investigation. It, and if I mean, if they had a little bit more, like they, it feels like pretty much anybody's getting a, a platform as well, right? Like if they had a way of like kind of weeding out the duds, sure. Right, like this one, they're like, "Well, we got these X-ray specialists." They didn't tell you that the fucking X-ray specialists found found their X-ray goggles in the bottom of cereal box, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, like, much- it's like we got this X-ray. To, he's been working here for whatever, and it's like, but you just you know, it's somebody like they pulled off the street almost. Like, it's kind of like we took totally. it, we took it to a veterinary doctor. Not that veterinarians aren't real doctors, but you know, you take it to them and gave them no context, and they kind of said, "Oh yeah, this definitely isn't human," and then they clip it right there because there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like kind of. Uh, shady edits in the video i would say that like cut stuff off and being like oh that's definitely not human and then they cut it off there because the next thing they're going to say like that kind of looks like a like a llama bone and like you know like a bone a bone from some type of animal uh you know <laughs> and it's like yeah well, they said it's not human and like yeah but they also yeah. said that it looks like it's taken from uh like a capybara or something <laughs> well see and that goes to a good point of what andrew said earlier it's like yeah they they take a section of it and they're like yeah human human but then it's like yeah what about the skull though <laughs> yeah uh yeah it's um it, it was a weird case back in 2017 i haven't seen a lot of updates i think the last update was like in 2020 uh about this and they were uh, i think it was on Kaya.com, and it was a um not that we're plugging them but it's just <laughs> uh it was an update about their um you know they, they're doing more dna tests on these creatures um my whole thing about worrying about the dna test is like okay um when they were handling these things nobody was wearing face masks that's number one like nobody not not this was pre-pandemic so it's not like that that's a big a deal but just the fact that it's like it's when you watch uh like the um when you watch a lot of stuff where they are handling like you know centuries old egyptian mummies or prove like actual like academic archaeological centers like things they are like head to toe like they got their hair nets on, they got their face yeah. masks on, they got their goggles on. And then a lot of these things, it's like, they just have gloves. And then you don't know where those bodies have been. You know, you don't know if the bone wranglers took a lot you of know the they same have, precautions. Don't, don't know if they have things. curses. They don't like, know if they on, have curses. Man. Yeah. Buddy, if I know anything about bone wrangling, illegal bone wrangling, you're just throwing that everything you find in a burlap sack. <laughs> this is true and then replacing right. it with a bag of sand that weighs yeah. essentially the same the same yeah the, it probably yeah. you know you weighed it with your hand and it's about the same weight so put it on and there. there's gonna be snakes probably gonna be snakes there's gonna be snakes yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah i would worry about contamination and and just degradation at this point because it's like yeah we're gonna do a bunch of updates and it's like well you guys kind of already had your chance and <laughs> Not much kind of came out of that. Like nothing, nothing conclusive. Uh, I think by any means, because I think pretty much at the end of the, um, at the end of the documentary, they kind of just give you that's like uh, they leave you off with the thought. 
like Braden was saying, and we kind of say and things like, okay, if if this was if this was because some of the parts of the body were, were were carbon dated, and they were like they like some parts of the body are like eight hundred years old or seven hundred years old, and um, was this body artificially created by you know it, it's an it's a you know macabre but interesting thought like were these things created for the hoax were they created um you know in in image of something an effigy of something uh something like we said like to imitate the 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 look of something that somebody had seen uh you know so there's still there's still kind of questions like why would somebody do this the the kind of the the over the question for anything I, like this, like, why I, did you do this? <laughs> yeah, that's an, that's an interesting thought because mm. right away, so it's like what we're, there's a possibility that like, while this maybe isn't what they thought, maybe this is a weird thing where this is some, like, do we know the age of the, of the other parts that are put in? Because is this, was this decorated as some sort of shrine or something to something? You know what I mean? Like that's, and these people found them like, this is fucking crazy. What the hell are these things in the mud here? Grabbed them and ran. And then it turns out like, you know, listen, King, Co- King Cusco loved creepy weirdos. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to find all the creepy weirdos. We can put them together and toss them in this pit for them. <laughs> so yeah, those are the, uh, those are the alien mummies. Like I don't, it's, it's hard to have a, it's hard to have like almost like a, a <laughs> Because the information is so jumbled and it's kind of been a, a while since since they've been out. I'm I, I'm sure there will the other alien mummies will come along like eventually. Uh, uh, but I also like wonder like is it becoming harder and harder to kind of hoax people into this kind of thing? Like, well, um, yeah, I would like, say I, at like a point, we, yes, yeah, as a point, because, yes, because like now we have. There is a bigger, I think there is a larger interest in these things now. Uh, there is a larger amount of media coverage on these things now, as opposed to, you know, years ago when it was kind of like, these are still niche things. And it's like, some people will not, a lot of like experts will just kind of avoid it, like just out of hand. They'll just dismiss it, you know, wave handed away. Um, hand wave it they'll just kind of be like yeah whatever like nobody's gonna believe that whatever um but you know there are some experts that we have now that people were uh you know grew up on the the, the x files and stuff like this i've become doctors and they've become uh you know medical experts and can look at these things and be like no 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 <laughs> well and That's i think that, that mm. <laughs> i think for uh like uh all these hoaxes are gonna really they fall apart as soon as they, they send them off to any specialist, right? That's the level. Like if you were going to, if you were going to try to actually like do some sort of high level test, you'd have to like actually make some like by you to, to be able to hoax at a level that would hoax science at this level. It's like hoaxers don't have access to the type of technology needed at this point to make that happen. Right. So it's, I, I would say like a surface level, these things, you know, hit the headlines and stuff, but it's very quickly, you know, can be disproven if it's not uh, legit. But this still doesn't, you know, I'm still not convinced that these things weren't set up like this hundreds of years ago and they were just found like this. And perhaps, you know, give these guys the benefit of the doubt. They just, they find it and they're like, what the fuck? They don't like, these bone wranglers don't know how bones go together. But like, maybe this was put together it was just 400 years ago, right? And just left there. Yeah, I've always, I like again. It doesn't. Even though we have our, our share of hoaxes and we kind of them, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't dim my interest in some of these things. Like again, the the overarching reason for me to is like, why would somebody do this? Even if you put it together out of the 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 uh, the intention to like do a hoax, and it's like I'd also I'm interested. Like, where did you get the body part? <laughs> where did they get the pieces yeah, to put this all the together? Uh, yeah, where did you get the possum guts uh, to to throw in there? And like, how did they do it? And uh, you know, those those kinds of questions to me are still as important as to be like is this is an actual uh human uh and or human alien hybrid creature like uh, any of those are those questions are i think have interesting and will lead you to interesting uh you know questions and answers along the way if not more questions than answers (laughs) 
Uh, so I, yeah, I don't know. Like I, I will still, again, if there's alien mummies, I'm still going to look at it and I'm still going to, you're going to tell me this is an alien mummy. I would be like, sure. Um, you know, like show me the test, like show me the DNA test. Give me a couple independent, uh, you know, analysis of the, um, <laughs> of the like mitochondrial DNA and all that, all that fun stuff. Like, Get a couple of uh, get a couple of scientists, not just one, because you can't just have one. And she's like, "Yeah, it's like, well, where did you find this guy?" <laughs> I don't know, uh, but um, I always, I always enjoy th- this stuff. Always pops up because yes, you will see this. The alien mummies. I'm sure people have seen it on TikTok. They see it on Instagram. They see it on social media. It's the same one. It's the same alien mummies found in Peru. It's the same mummy. Yeah, there's it's like this a, one. there's there's a Prime. <laughs> you can watch. There's a documentary on Prime. You can uh, check out and stuff. So. Um, I'm sure every couple of years they're going to, they're going to bring out, you know, get Maria out of the, the storage unit that they put her in. Cause I have no idea where the body is right now. Apparently it's probably at like guy headquarters somewhere. <laughs> uh, and they'll probably bring her out every, every now and then to, to make another uh, <laughs> six, six entry documentary about her. And so yeah. I don't know. Keep keep your eyes open. <laughs> All right. As we wrap this one up, uh, as always, we need help. Support the boys. Head to patreon.com slash alien theorist podcast. Do it. What are you waiting for at mm-hmm. this point? Seriously. This is how many videos of ours are you going to watch? How many podcasts are you going to listen to? Though at least buying us a beer. And guess what? Yeah. It, it's, it's not even, you're not even buying anything. We're trading. Give us yeah. five bucks. You're we'll getting, you you're getting more hundreds out of the deal. Of hours. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds of you're hours. You're getting the better part of the deal. It's like, if you're, if you're waiting to catch up on the podcast, don't, because a lot of this stuff is like, it supplements the podcast. Like we talk about yeah. stuff on there that we, maybe we, we thought about while we were doing the regular, uh, you know, alien theories, theorizing prime, we've got yeah. tons of other insane, weird shit on there. Um, you know, for your listening pleasure, hours yeah. and hours for 25 bucks. There's a shirtless video of Andrew just doing bench press as many as he can do. Yeah. It. It's not true. You, it's not true, but hey, listen. Not true yet. It'll be arranged. <laughs> yet. <Yeah. laughs> we can do it. Uh, so head to patreon.com slash alien theorist podcast uh, and help us become full-time podcasters. Um, this month, our new supporters, or this week's new supporters, uh, we have Harriet Westlake. Um, Superior to Harriet Eastlake. Yeah. Um, Tori Armstrong. Derek and Angela Martin. And uh, cra- and craftacular. Uh, so nice. those thanks to those beauties for helping support the show. Uh, it keeps the lights on, uh, especially when we just bought a new studio that I can work on. Mm-hmm. Um, so as we say at the end of the few things, keep those eyes <laughs> on the skies. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.